Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. We are now in the middle of the Boogies area at Albert Centre to try some food that is in this food centre. Food like, like this and this. This also. Why not some dessert? So join me, won't you, while we explore the food and eat! So, how do we get there? From Bugis MRT Station on the east-west line, once you get out of the gantry, you head straight until you pass the doors and then you turn right. As you can see, we are actually at a underground uh, passageway, so we are going to continue walking straight ahead along the passageway. And if you actually see up ahead, you notice that this is the entrance to also the downtown line. So downtown line also has an a MRT station to Bugis. But we're not going to go that way. We're going to turn right here. And towards the left, you can see there's some uh, entryway. This is to Bugis Junction. But we're not going there also. We're going to keep going straight and head towards the escalator. As per usual, take the escalator up all the way up until you reach the top and you are now actually under Bugis Junction but we are going to keep heading straight okay if on our right here is actually the taxi stand which we are not going to take a taxi there or, but we are going to continue heading straight after the taxi stand we are going to turn right so over here we are turning right and as you can see there's actually a uh, pedestrian crossing with traffic light so we're going to cross across here at the traffic light cross the street this street we are crossing at now is actually Victoria Street and we're going to head to this place called Boogie Street which is directly ahead basically Boogie Street it's actually a small area with lots and lots of tiny shops. The shops will sell food, drinks, clothes, accessories and many many items. Like the first shop we passed by here is a shop that sells drinks in multiple colours. All the colours of the rainbow. And then snacks. And then on the right is a souvenir shop. Next to it is a shop that sells watches. Opposite, a shop that sells a phone accessories after that a shop that sells different kinds of uh, maybe hairbands and stuff here's a shop that sells shoes more souvenirs a shop that sells bags you know multiple bags there's even a money changer here and as you can see this area here is actually quite busy especially during lunch time and there's an escalator going up here because there's also more tiny shops if you head up that way, that sells clothes and all these kinds of items and also down all these alleyways, there are even more shops so basically this is a good place for you to come if you are looking to buy knickknacks, knacks wax and all the little little stuff like like uh, maybe uh, wallets, you know, souvenirs uh, there's even a small sex shop that sells dildos if you want and also a lot of different different types of local snacks and cakes and stuff so it's a very interesting place to come and this is also another shop that sells drinks in a variety of colors and this is a shop that sells chocolates you can get the uh, you know the green tea Kit Kat from here if you are looking for it so and also here sell clothes so like I say this place sells a lot a lot of different things if you do like to come to shop for this kind of small little things you can come here this is a very good place to come okay and this and um, you're reaching the end of boogie street now there's a shopper that sells fruits so you can get your local fruits here 
all different types of local fruits and after that there's also a store that sells durians so if you do want to try our local king of fruit you can come here to try but for us we are not going to eat any fruits we are going to come to this place here called albert center okay basically albert center is uh, one of the food centers in singapore this is in the bugis area just that when you're crossing this street just be careful because this is actually a a two-way street so they are traffic coming both directions okay anyway let's head in and get some food like I said let's head in to try the food at Albert Center the first food we're gonna try is actually Yui Yuyi prawn uh, Hokkien prawn mee okay so basically you this is the shop itself and this is the noodle Okay, um, basically this noodle is a Singaporean uh, Hokkien mee, uh, which is a prawn mee. So basically, this shop itself, the soups, the seafood and seafood stock that they used to cook the noodles in is not as flavorful as and rich tasting as other shops. Uh, but they do give you the sambal beside there, the chili sauce that you see there. So basically, what you need to do is, uh, if you eat the noodles without the chili sauce, you will taste that. You will, you will taste the noodles itself. One, one of the prominent taste is the noodles and a bit of the seafood stock, which is not super strong in flavor. But once you mix in the chili sauce in it, the chili sauce will add lots of flavor into the noodles. And besides adding spiciness, which it does add a bit more spiciness, and it does add does kick up the flavor profile of the noodles up a notch so if you are eating the noodles here you will need to actually mix in the chili sauce because this is the uh, key ingredient to making this dish great which is a very good noodles plate a very good plate of noodles okay next up let's see what else we can find here let's look around and Okay, let me zoom in for you. It's from this shop called Homemade Spring Roll and Spring Roll Skin. So basically, this shop makes its business at selling uh, popia, which is spring roll, which is this dish here, the one in white. And they also sell the skin if you want to buy the skin to make it at home. Okay, and this is another dish that you can find in Singapore and maybe some Nonya. Pranakan dish is called Kueh Pai Tea. Basically, the ingredients for Kueh Pai Tea and the spring roll is similar. Only thing is the skin for the Kueh Pai Tea and the dollop of chili sauce on top. Let's eat it. Okay, so the dollop of chili on top adds a lot, a lot of flavor and the crunchiness of the skin actually adds in a lot of flavor to, a lot of um, flavor to the kueh pai tea itself and this is the popia or spring roll also quite good but uh, not but i prefer the kueh pai tea so besides the spring roll shop there is actually this shop called Berto chi kueh and this is the branch here there's another branch in amokyo which if you click on the link below will have more details of the dish there next up is angel house teochew fish soup okay as you can see on the if you go to the shop itself there's always a long queue and in front of the shop itself there's a big refrigerate a big fridge there that you can see the fish that is refrigerated there so to have really fresh fish you need to have strong good refrigeration and one of the key things about this dish is the chili sauce itself basically they put in the chili paddy and they also put in preserved soya bean into the chili so it actually makes it quite um, a unique chili sauce the fish itself is super fresh 
and they also cook the soup together with bitter gourd. The bitter gourd is actually cut so thinly that it's not even bitter. But the soup itself is super flavorful. They cooked the bones of the fish you know, in the soup for a very long time and all the flavor comes out in the soup itself. It's actually a very, very good fish soup if you are willing to line up for it. Next up is this shop called Zheng Xing Mei Xin. Basically, they actually sell uh, dessert and they do a good business. When they open up the shop, they'll keep selling until they sell out everything. And they only sell four items. Okay, and these are the two items uh, that I got because when I reached at the shop, there was only these two items left. So there is this on your left, it's called Tao Suan, which is a uh, mung beans. And on my right, is uh, they call it Pulut Hitam, which is actually black glutinous rice. Okay. And then you put in uh, coconut milk on it. This is super delicious. And so is this dish. It's also super smooth and not too sweet. But I find that the Pulut Hitam, which is the one on the right, uh, interesting is because inside the Pulut Hitam itself, there is dried longans. And that adds in a nice fruity flavor to it when you bite into the dried longans. So, I guess this is the first review of Albert Center Food Center. The food here is good. It is in the middle of Bugis, so do come down here and you can notice that it's actually a uh, majority of the down, of downstairs is actually a uh, food center and on the last row on your left is actually your uh, wet market and underground is a car park and on the third floor they sell a lot of dried goods. So this is a place that is uh, serves the neighborhood as a market and also as a food center and there's a lot of good food here so if you like what you see please like share and subscribe and most importantly join me for my next food adventure thank you very much and bye bye